Hey guys, hope you're doing well. Today I'm going to tell you how you can get your PR by investing or buying a business in the province of Alberta through the newly launched Rural Entrepreneur Stream. If you already didn't know, Alberta has renamed the AINP or the Alberta Immigrant Nominee Program to the AAIP or the Alberta Advantage Immigration Program and introduced two new streams which I talked about in last week's video and today I'm going to elaborate on one of them. If you are nominated by the AAIP through any of its seven streams, you can apply for permanent residence together with your spouse or common law partner and your dependent children so all of you can get your PR and fly to Canada together. The PNP pathway by Alberta is often favoured because its requirements are comparatively lower than PNP programs from other provinces and the climate is more favourable than the Atlantic provinces. The application fee is also considerably cheaper than other PNPs. For those of you who have already submitted ANP applications before, program eligibility criteria did not change. Candidates who submitted their applications using ANP's online portal through its My Alberta Digital ID system must request a nomination extension in the portal. All other post-decision processes remain unchanged. In this video, I am going to tell you everything about the Rural Entrepreneur Stream, who can apply for it, its requirements or eligibility criteria, how exactly you can start a business or buy an existing business in these communities in Alberta and how you can get your PR for your whole family through these new streams. So do watch the video till the end. Hey guys, this is Jason from Dream Canada. If you're new to this channel, I show people how to save their money and immigrate to new countries through my videos without the help of any immigration consultants or agents or lawyers. You can find all the process instructions for you to apply on your own through this channel. Subscribe now because all the information provided here is completely free and I answer all your queries in the comments section and on my social handles on Instagram and Twitter so don't forget to follow us there as well. The first new stream is the Rural Renewal stream and the second one is the Rural Entrepreneur stream which I'll be telling you about today. Now both these streams have basically been introduced for those communities and rural regions in Alberta that have ample job opportunities and business opportunities but a population density of less than 100,000 people. These regions are outside the metropolitan areas of Calgary and Edmonton. Language requirements are still low at just CLB4 and the education required is also low at just a high school education level. Let me first start with what the Rural Entrepreneur Stream actually is. The Rural Entrepreneur Stream is an economic immigration program for people willing to invest in rural communities or regions in Alberta by buying an existing business there or even starting their own business there. Entrepreneurs play a key role in Alberta's economy, using their business skills and initiative to anticipate needs and create jobs for people in Alberta. Eligible candidates must have a minimum net worth set by Alberta and must be willing to invest a certain amount either from their own equity or from the equity of their spouse or common law partner. Higher levels of investment have better chances of getting an invitation from the province. I'll be telling you more details about the exact amounts and all the other requirements further down in the video. Now we come to the requirements or the eligibility criteria for this stream. There's no age limit as such, but ideally invitations are more likely to happen if you're between 21 to 49 years. You need to have either a minimum 3 years of experience as an active business owner or manager or a minimum of 4 years of experience as a senior manager in your company within the past 10 years. You need to have at least a high school education and you'll need an ECA or an education credential assessment from WES or any other designated evaluation service. If you have a higher education, that's better for your application, but high school level is the bare minimum required. You need to have a language test score of at least CLB4 for English or NCLC4 for French. IELTS and CELPIP are accepted for English tests and TEF and TCF are accepted for French tests. Here too, again, the higher you score, the better for your application, but CLB4 is the bare minimum required. You must have a minimum net worth of 300,000 Canadian dollars. Your assets can be in your own personal holdings or your spouse's or common law partner's holdings or jointly held by both of you as well. Your minimum business investment amount must be at least 200,000 Canadian dollars. It can be from your own equity or your spouse or common law partner's equity. The higher your investment amount, the better your chances of getting accepted. If you decide to go in with a partnership business model, you must own at least 51% of the business and your partner or partners must be Canadian citizens or permanent residents. 
If you decide to go in for a sole proprietor business model, you must obtain 100% ownership for business succession. This means that there must be a complete change in ownership where the candidate will assume full control of the business. If you're creating a business, you must create at least one full-time job for Canadian citizens or permanent residents. You cannot employ your relatives for these job positions. The more jobs you create, the better your chances of getting approved. These job positions must be for a period of at least 6 months. For business succession, which is when you buy an existing Alberta business, job creation is not required. You're also going to need a community support letter from a participating rural Alberta community, basically the community where you want to start your business. There are a few factors that boost your chances of getting approved sooner. First and foremost, more preference is given to those candidates willing to buy out existing Alberta businesses as opposed to opening their own businesses in Alberta. The age preferred is between 21 to 49 years. Spousal factors also help. For instance, if your spouse or common law partner has completed at least one year of full-time post-secondary education, this may be a certificate, associate degree, diploma, bachelor's degree or higher. If they appear for an English or French language test and score CLB4 or higher, that would boost your chances as well. If you have a relative currently living in Alberta, that would also help your application. These relatives include your father, stepfather, mother, stepmother, child, stepchild, sister, stepsister, brother, stepbrother or your spouse or common-law partner. You should also consider an exploratory visit to the rural community that you are interested in. Candidates interested can connect with the community contact person in the rural community or region to discuss their business proposal and schedule an exploratory visit. Prior to coming to Alberta for the exploratory visit, you should research current market opportunities in the community, licensing and registration requirements, and the steps involved in establishing a business in Alberta. The exploratory visit will provide you with the opportunity to meet with local business contacts, economic development officers from the community as well as any other prospective contacts to learn and understand the local business environment and the requirements to build a successful business in the community. You need to keep records of your exploratory trip including any contacts and meeting details as this information will be needed for your exploratory visit report. The exploratory visit report must include the following information. The name of the professional business service providers or settlement organizations you visited during your trip, including mailing addresses, telephone numbers and emails. A description of the activity or meeting and how it relates to your business establishment or settlement. Copies of business cards you collected from relevant people and business service providers contacted during your visit. And details of visits to existing business locations and meetings with current owners if you are planning to purchase an existing business. You should include the business name, location and the current owner's names and contact details. Now that you know the requirements, let me tell you how you can apply for this stream. The entire application process can be done online from the comfort of your home. The first thing you'll have to do is go to the AIP portal which was basically previously called the AINP portal. Here you'll have to create an account using the My Alberta Digital ID system which is the same system used to create accounts for other AINP streams. If you already have an account created, if you apply to the AINP before, simply log in using those details. After logging in using your account details, you can submit an EOI or an expression of interest to the province of Alberta. There is no fee for submitting an EOI, it's absolutely free of cost. Once your EOI is submitted, you will not be able to update it until the AIP has reviewed and scored it. The AIP will review and score your EOI within 30 days of submission. If you are eligible, AIP will score your EOI and the status will show as eligible. If your EOI status shows as not eligible, then you will not be able to update it and you must submit a new AOI. EOIs are placed in the pool of qualified candidates for a period of 12 months from the date of their original submission. If your EOI is not selected in this 12 month period, it will be cancelled and you will have to submit a new EOI. Highest ranking candidates in the pool will be requested to submit their documents and a business application. To have a look at the AIP Business Plan Guidelines PDF I have added in the description box, you will need this to know exactly what to include in your business plan when making a complete application to the AIP. You will have 120 days which is 4 whole months to complete your application and submit the required documents. 
Your documents may include a business proposal summary, a community support letter, and details about your spouse or common law partner and your children if applicable. I'll provide a link for the complete documents checklist that you'll need in the description box as well. You'll also have to pay a non-refundable application fee of 3500 Canadian dollars at this stage. This business application fee covers the cost of processing your business application and is required whether your business application is approved or not. It must be paid online using a single credit or debit card. Once you submit a complete business application, the AIP portal will automatically generate a file number. Once the business application and supporting documents are received, the AIP will assess your business application. An AIP officer may contact you by email or phone if additional documents or information is needed to assess your business application and will tell you how to send the information across. Now you'll just have to wait for an email from the AIP. Be on the lookout for an email from a Government of Alberta account that's at gov.ab.ca. If the AIP deems that you've demonstrated that you meet all the Rural Entrepreneur Stream criteria, you'll be sent a business performance agreement by email for your review and signature. Your business performance agreement is a legal agreement between you and the province of Alberta. You must sign, scan and email your business performance agreement to the AIP within 14 days. Entrepreneurs who are approved under the established businesses in Alberta criteria, which means if you're buying an already established business in Alberta, are not required to sign a business performance agreement. These entrepreneurs will directly be issued a nomination certificate to apply for permanent residence to IRCC. If your business application is declined, you'll be emailed a decision letter providing the reasons why your business application was declined. If you can demonstrate that an error was made in assessing your business application, you may be eligible to submit a request for reconsideration. Alright guys, so that was all about how you can get your PR by being a business owner in Alberta. For more immigration and travel tips, subscribe to this channel now. Do like this video if you like the content and comment what topic you would like to hear about next. Thank you so much for watching. Remember to subscribe for regular updates on immigration and don't forget to follow us on Instagram as well. I wish you the best of luck for your application and hope you have a great day.